Hello dear student, this is Dr. Agnes Kharath and with me we are learning Museum Study of Class Amphibium. In Class Amphibium, we will be learning three organisms, Salamander, Rana, that is Bullfrog and Ethiophis. So let us begin with general characters of class amphibium. These organisms are aquatic or semi-aquatic, generally in fresh water, carnivorous tetrapod vertebrates. Body is divided as distinct head and elongated trunk. Neck and tail region may be present or it may be absent. There are two pairs of limbs which are called, uh, that is the reason they are called as tetrapod. Four limbs are there. Some are limbless. Four or five or less toes are present. Digits are without claws. In some members, median fins are present but without fin rays. Paired fin rays are absent in this organism. Endoskeleton is bony. Exoskeleton is generally absent. Skin is soft, moist and glandular for the respiration purpose. Pigment cells that is chromatophore cells are also present in this organism. Skull is dicondylic with two occipital condyles. Large mouth is with homodont teeth which are located both in upper and lower jaws. Protrusible tongue is present in this organism. Digestive system is complete and cloaca is present. Respiration is by lungs, skin and mouth linings. There is presence of external gills for respiration in larval forms which may persist in some aquatic adult organisms. In adults, nostrils are connected to buccal cavity. Heart is three chambers. Sinus venosus is present. Aortic arches, one, two, three pairs. RBCs that is red blood corpuscles are large, oval and nucleated. Renal and hepatic portal systems are well developed in these organisms. There is presence of mesonephric kidney. Urinary bladder is large. Excretion is ureotelic. Brain is not well developed. Ten pairs of cranial nerves are present in these organisms. Middle ear is provided with single rod-like ossicle columella. Lateral line system is present in larval forms and also in some aquatic adult forms. These are cold-blooded organisms. Sexes are separate. Males are without copulatory organs and gonoduct opens into cloacal region. Fertilization is mostly external in these organisms and females are mostly oviparous. Development is indirect through larval stages. There is presence of larval forms which is called as tadpole which metamorphoses into adult. And examples are Ethiophis, Salamander, Rana, Siren, Buffo, Hyla, etc. So, now we'll begin with Salamander. So, let us study classification of Salamander. It belongs to phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, division Gnathostomata, superclass Tetrapoda, Class Amphibia, Order Eurodella, and genus is Salamandra. Why it is included in Class Amphibia? Because these are the organisms which are adapted for aquatic as well as terrestrial mode of life. 
and skin is moist and glandular for the respiration and heart has got three chamber and these are cold blooded organisms order is urodela why because it has got distinct tail lizard like appearance two pairs of weak limbs are present so this is the classification of salamander let us begin silent features of salamander salamandra maculosa is commonly known as european or spotted or fire salamander it is terrestrial and lives in the moist shady places under stones logs crack and crevices in europe and western asia it is nocturnal it walks slowly on land but swims very actively with the help of its tail in the water body body is typically lizard like in appearance which measures about 12 to 15 cm in length males are shorter than the females the color is shining black with yellow spots on back and limbs body is divisible into head trunk and tail head is depressed head bears large mouth eyes provided with movable eyelids and parotid glands skin is smooth and slimy cutaneous glands ejects a poisonous white fluid it has a regeneration power the lost limbs are regenerated easily in this organism and it shows internal fertilization so this is about salamander let us begin with second organism rana which is a indian bull frog classification is it belongs to phylum chordata sub phylum vertebrata division is gnathostomata because true jaws are present super class is tetrapoda because it has got four limbs class is amphibia order is anura because tail is absent in this order and fore limbs and hind limbs are very well developed and genus is rana in this session we'll, we are learning about rana tigrina frogs live amphibious life on land as well as in water they are cosmopolitan in distribution they are usually found in freshwater ponds rivers ditches under stones and in damp places except in arid parts of the country this frog is usually known as indian bullfrog because of its large size and loud voice frog has squat spindle shaped body pointed anteriorly and rounded posteriorly so this is the diagrammatic representation of the frog you can see the body is clearly divided into head and this is the body trunk region and these are the limbs these are the uh, four limbs and these are the hind limbs a light yellow line runs mid dorsally from tip of the snout to the cloacal aperture called the mid dorsal line it measures about 12 to 18 cm in length it has smooth skin and strong hind legs for leaping and webbed feet for swimming frog is carnivorous feeds on insects spiders and earthworms snails tadpoles also showing cannibalism cannibalism means eating same species frog goes under the hibernation during adverse conditions of winter and summer next organism is ethiophis let us start classification of ethiophis it belongs to phylum chordata sub phylum vertebrata division gnathostomata class tetrapoda super class tetrapoda class amphibia order apoda why it is included into order apoda 
which is also called as a gymnof uh, gymnofiona because it is a limbless organism it has got a elongated worm like body and it uh, it is a burrowing organism and genus is ichthyophis ichthyophis is commonly known as sicilian it has adapted for it has adapted for burrowing life and is found in the moist areas body is vermiform slender measuring about 30 cm in length it is dark brown or bluish black with yellow band along the side and divided into three regions head trunk and tail limbs are absent and tail is short or vestigial head bears small vestigial eyes covered by skin why it has got vestigial eyes because it has got a burrowing habit and so it does not require eyes so that is the reason eyes are in the vestigial forms nostrils and pair of sensory tentacles are also present the skin is moist slimy and has ring like folds containing minute calcified dermal scales arranged in transverse rows a specialized gland which is called as a skirt skirt gland in skin releases irritating fluid tympanic membrane tympanic cavity and collipula are absent in this organism ichthyophis has anus which is subterminal it has got everted copulatory organ in case of males cloaca of male is everted like a copulatory organ and eggs are laid in moist burrows by female mother coils around the eggs until they hatch out so this is about the ichthyophis thank you